Hi, I'm Bill McCarthy. I'm the assistant principal at Arlington High School. And uh, we're going to take you on a quick tour of our maker space. So the maker space, this space in particular, is originally our wood shop. Um, we've been running wood classes for the last couple of years. Um, it's a holdover from when we did have vocational technology here and vocational classes. Uh, more recently, we've been trying to update it to bring it into more of a maker space. Uh, maker space, for those of you that don't know, is a 21st century. Uh, we try and get students to gain the skills of more hands-on training. As you take a look around the room, you'll see we've got uh, saws, drill presses, um, band saws, table saws. Um, lots of students will come down here. Right now there are two scheduled classes in this space. Um, you might think that's underused. The other piece of it is, it is open to every department and every class in the building. So it's not strange to come in and have the biology department come in and build anatomical structures of human hands or feet or faces. Um, more recently, uh, we've had the, one of our classes is building a shed in order to support athletics. And I was just down here recently and the engineering class had built boats uh, with small, um, engines that would run through. They had actually just taken down the troughs, but there were troughs full of water. Uh, and so students were applying their physics knowledge to building the boats um, in this space. So really this has become an all-purpose space and our goal here is to grow that. So if you are in a science classroom, you are in an art classroom, you can come down here, make use of the space, be trained, and over the course of the next four years, apply your knowledge that you learn in your classes, whether that's developing projects or doing your own personal development of different ideas. For instance, over there, you can actually see there's a student who has designed a baseball bat. And that's on one of the, the machines over there. We also have a small canoe. And more recently, we had a student that just built a skateboard uh, from scratch. Uh, we, as we continue to update it, uh, and it's not in this space, it's actually in a locked space over there. We have a laser, uh, laser cutter and a 3D printer. And the big goal of a maker space is to bring in that 21st century technology. So as we apply things such as using a saw, using a drill press, we can also pull in the technology of designing computers. And this will give you an idea of one of the classes that are in here using this space. This is our mixed media class, and so they've designed um, several projects where we're using the tools from the maker space uh, to design these and stage them. You'll also notice in the back over there, there is stacks and stacks of materials. Well, that's the remnants of our shows. And you'll see shortly, we'll go to the auditorium, we'll talk about the shows we put on. But we build all the stages here, and that door over there is the only way to access this space. So what ends up happening is because this is located in the basement in the rear of the building, we have to build the staging in very small pieces, exit through that door and bring it around the whole building. If you've ever gone to one of our shows, you've seen the staging we put on, um, very elaborate, very large, once again all done in this space and we can only do it piecemeal. Um, but a lot of the larger projects we do have in here, if you've gone to an Enviro Garden, you've seen some of the projects, all built in this space. And our goal here really is to expand this and move this space into a more central location so that more people can use it and it can become more incorporated into the educational process here. So as we're talking about the maker space and joining the 21st century with more hands-on technology, over here we've got some of the tools from our old wood shop right next to our newest addition. This is our CNC laser cutter, uh, which we just got this year, really excited about. The students program it, and they're able to produce different items. For example, here's a playing card made out of wood that someone has produced. And so that was done solely on this. Uh, we also have items like this, which builds into a box. And so this is all done on the laser cutter as part of uh, the maker's space and some of the projects the students have taken on.